What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna be doing an update on SoFi stock. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack, born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on. And in today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then I will continue with the fundamental news and I will show you the news that might be the catalyst for upcoming you know, weeks for SoFi. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you what should we expect next. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here, somewhere at this point. And I've told you that because of this uh, quite harsh movement to the upside, we have to see the cooldown. And most likely we might see the movement to the downside that uh, from this point might hit lower targets. First target that uh, I marked uh, previously was uh, right here, it is a 0.382 Fibonacci retracement level. And this level I made by pulling the Fibonacci retracement tool from this bottom to this top with the assumption that we completed all five wave structure. As you can see, one, two, three, four, and five. And uh, first of all, we had a very good reaction out of this range. Then we had the rollover and we broke it to the downside. But then, again, we have this movement to the upside and for now we are in a quite tricky situation. And uh, in just several minutes I will show you what I'm talking about. But for now let's continue with the fundamental news. And first of all let me show you this uh, list. It is uh, the list of uh, analytic firms uh, that made their prediction regarding the uh, SoFi. And as you can see on uh, June 22nd uh, Compass Point uh, uh, made the first coverage on this stock and uh, they set sell rating with a price target of five dollars which implies uh, negative uh, 41.11 uh, percent uh, of uh, its uh, from its current price and uh, let's uh, take a look at what was the reason of uh, this decision uh, we can find it uh, right here on investor place and this article was published just uh, uh, one day ago and right here i want to pay attention uh, uh, on this uh, paragraph. Uh, Compass Point, an investment firm focused on financial, financial services, accelerated the bear attack by putting a sell rating on SoFi stock. Analyst Juliana Bologna said SoFi's accounting treatment uh, of personnel and business loans will create uh, a back-end margin overhang if growth slows, and he expects it will. He put a price target of $5 on uh, this stock consistent uh, with where SoFi was traded in January and uh, as recently as May. Analysts uh, from uh, Piper Sandler, Bank of America and Oppenheimer Holdings uh, have also cut their rating on stock and over half of uh, its analysts now have a rating of neutral. All these analysts uh, are treating SoFi as a bank. Most of its money comes today from its loan business. Treating SoFi as a bank is also bearish because uh, with just $10.1 billion in deposits, it's a small bank. And I have to say that it is a quite uh, controversial statement because uh, SoFi is not uh, a bank. It is a neo bank, first of all. And secondly, it has a very interesting uh, business model because uh, their customer acquisition cost is much lower if you compare it with the customer acquisition cost of uh, legacy banks. And this uh, gives uh, a very good uh, competitive advantage uh, that might lead to uh, much better numbers compared to the legacy banks. And uh, let me show you this uh, article. Uh, we are also on Investor Place, but this article was published just 22 hours ago. And it says, long term SoFi bull, this is the magic number to buy in. And let me go to these bullet points. Bullet points. SoFi Technologies has seen a $6 billion, increase, $6 billion increase in personal loan originations since 2019. The company stands to gain significantly from uh, the recently passed uh, debt ceiling legislation. SoFi's uh, price may not indicate immediate value, but for growth-oriented investors uh, it uh, presents uh, an intriguing opportunity to explore. And I have to say that uh, this the second bullet point uh, might be very important because uh, we have uh, basically the first um, quarter that uh, this company operates uh, without uh, the restriction regarding the student loan moratorium. And uh, we have to see these results uh, in their upcoming earnings report. And uh, the, more, the closest earnings report uh, they should disclose somewhere uh, at the beginning of August, uh, as you can see, somewhere on August the 10th. 
But uh, I have to say that, let's uh, switch again to our time frame. I have to say that uh, till this happened, we have uh, to see much interesting price action. And let me show you uh, this uh, list. It is a list of institutional investors. And uh, I want to show you that uh, some companies uh, cautiously open new position or they are rebalancing their existing position in the positive side. And uh, definitely you cannot rely on this information as a signal to buy this asset because uh, we have a gap of at least 45 days uh, from this date. And this means all of these uh, uh, deals uh, was made uh, at least 45 days prior this date. And that is why we have uh, to keep this information in mind. But we cannot rely on the it uh, for 100% as a buy signal. So. And let's continue with the technical analysis, but before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, first of all, let me explain why I think we are in a quite tricky situation. First of all, if my assumption is correct and the, this uh, movement to the upside has uh, the completed five wave structure, in this case, we have to see the retracement that should uh, that usually should have a shape of uh, simple zigzag as ABC correction, something like this. And uh, probably we already formed the A wave. We are forming the B wave. And the next leg uh, should be the C wave that might land somewhere lower. And if it is the case, definitely uh, from this point, it is quite dangerous to enter your long position because uh, the downside potential that uh, will confirm the ABC correction might be up to 12%. And the upside potential to break uh, this uh, previous uh, top uh, might be again somewhere around the same percentage points, about 15%. This means one to one risk to reward ratio doesn't worth your attention because it is too risky and it is basically uh, closer to gambling, not uh, to trading. And that is why, in my opinion, we have to wait. And uh, I have to say that uh, this is my first assumption. The sec second assumption is following. Uh, I might be wrong with this breakdown and we might have uh, not this type of uh, five-way structure, but we might have this is our first wave. Second, this is another first, another second. This is the third one. Fourth, and uh, we didn't break uh, the top of our first wave right here. And we have to see another leg to the upside that uh, might break this previous swing high. And why I think that this account is also on the table. To do some measurements, we have to pull it from the bottom of the wave and let's delete this count and make it uh, uh, again like this. So we have first, second, uh, third, fourth and uh, somewhere higher might be the fifth wave. We have to pull the Fibonacci retracement tool from uh, the bottom of the third wave to the top of the third wave. And as you can see right here, we hit the golden pocket range. And uh, technically, it is a very, very strong uh, range where we might see the trend reversal. And basically, we have the confluence uh, on the several ranges. It is a round number of around uh, of $8 and the golden pocket range if we compare with just the latest wave. But uh, I have to say that none of these uh, breakdowns uh, violate uh, the Elliott wave theory rules. And uh, this is why we have to see the breakout above uh, this previous swing high or below this previous swing low. And in this case, uh, we might confirm certain outcome. And uh, for now, I have to say that uh, most likely we should see, uh, we should have uh, something like this. This might be our first wave. This is our second. This is our third retracement to the fourth one. And right here, we might have the top of our fifth wave. And if it is the case, definitely most likely we should see a lower price target. And uh, somewhere at the ranges of about uh, $7 mark, uh, we might uh, have a very lucrative entry point because we have a confluence uh, with the ranges of support and resistances and uh, with some psychological uh, numbers, psychological round numbers. That is why. For now, I have to say that it is not the best uh, point where you can add your long position. I also don't recommend you to uh, short uh, this stock because uh, uh, we might see harsh uh, breakout above for this range of resistance. It is also on the table. We just have to wait and the market will reveal itself and uh, you will never lose uh, the trade because uh, there are multiple of opportunities uh, on a daily basis. So, I think that's all information that I want to provide you. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack, born a rock star in the
this life, gon' live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm bad